Listing Diario Editorial for March 28th of 2022. Funeral Solemnity has been lost. The funeral solemnity that marks the farewell and burial of the deceased has been degrading in the country, at the same time that society ignores many of its traditional values. Before, the reflexes of this decomposition were sharpened. The act of saying goodbye and burying a loved one was not only a time of pain for family and friends, but also for the recognition of their best deeds in the transit of life. Since some funerals broke that solemnity to make way for binge eating and drinking in the patios or the fronts of the deceased's house. The meaning of that rictus of the weight has been lost. And this is how we have seen that at the moment of visual or burial of a delinquent, a couple or a neighborhood hitman, loud music, dances, the ingestion of alcohol and drugs, Sometimes a spill on the coffin itself supplants the old ways of partying. With the pandemic, the fact that the victims could retransmit the virus forced quick burials without family or friends except for two or three people without going through funeral homes. They were not preceded by a mass or by the eulogy of rigor to recognize the virtues of the disease or by a spaces of time for the family to receive condolences. Now, sadly, the biases of the moral corruption of society have made funeral homes sacred presence and other rooms for the last goodbye lose their touch of solemnity and respect. Because many go to funeral homes and make jokes or gossip and what is least talk about is the merits of the deceased. Perhaps that is one of the reasons why so-called intimate funerals are now taking place with only family and true friends, where the act of saying goodbye really takes on its special meaning. For Listin Diario, voice over and translations by Indira Rodriguez.